all right everybody welcome to your 19th express tutorial in which i'm going to show you how to retrieve some data on your node side from the other side with the help of post so let's take a look at this now i would just copy and paste the code from script 17 and uh, here you go uh, let's just get rid of this method right there now one thing you might not have noticed is that this is the get is the method so this is the same as i am writing script 19.js as you can see if i just open my developer tools and reload this page you can see this is the same request method as this one so if I write app.post and then pretty much the same code but with get replaced with post so what happens now is that if I somehow manage to change this request method to post then this code would execute where this can be any sort of different code from this one so now we have Two methods defined for a single page and that is the first code runs for a get method and the second code runs for a post method so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of this file right there and for the get method let's just go to files index and create a form I'm just gonna say action to home page only and then method is post all right okay so it doesn't have autocomplete i guess so the next thing i'm just going to create a simple input type text name first name and why not just greet the user your good name and then finally we have this input type submit and just br just br yeah anyways all right so if i just run this right now you can see we get something like this so this is obviously on a get request so okay now the thing is that in this eventually we are using a very new version of node and express so what happens is that for this to manage post request we need to install a middleware now a middleware is basically nothing but something that just takes over control for a while and then sends the output to your browser so if you have a server like this then the server is processing this code then you kind of install something known as a middleware which is an external sort of code which is not bundled with the official framework you can say and then this code the server passes this code to middleware and this middleware then do some magic processes this code whatever and then sends it back to the browser so that's pretty much it how it works so now to work with the post response how to get that what we need is a middleware and that middleware is the body parser and to install that just go to your terminal get rid of that write npm install body parser and i guess we don't need the save oh my god i guess i didn't did a tutorial on this um package.json file all right so yeah so i guess we are missing a tutorial on that so don't worry i'll just do a package.json tutorial soon after i'm just done with this stuff so for now just do npm install body parser and hit enter let it install and let's just assume yeah so this is installed all right so now we can just go ahead and make use of that in our code let's just write var body parser equals require body parser no not the camel casing here you go now 
one more thing I need to do is to do something like this app dot use body parcel now what this does is is basically it just says that for all the routing for this express make use of this thing right there so this literally says that when you are managing some sort of stuff like post or whatever this supports then make use make sure that this thing right here interferes so this is a middleware for all of that stuff so you just need to make sure you like add a line app dot use body parser and once you have done that now we are good to go now to do that what we need to do is I'm just gonna say response dot end and how I want it to end is request dot body and you might want it to stringify stringify there you go all right so let's just take a look node script 19.js and as you can see it listens at port 1337 and we are pretty much doing nothing but just sending the request.body whatever we receive so if I reload it right now you can see we get this thing right there because obviously for now we are just running on request method get now let me write something code um, is awesome and hit summit alright so now you see that I could probably zoom in so you see that we get an object as response and it says first name is code damn whoa I get a typo there is awesome now this is kind of similar to now what we have done in tutorial number 18 like that so instead of just query we are making use of the body so you can now just probably create your own login applications and you can just do something like this if request dot body dot username is admin and and you know the password is this and that then do that and this otherwise just just throw out the user you can do all of that stuff so basically that's how your and I could just make that a valid piece of code again all right so basically that's how you get and post the or actually you get the get and post data on your server and in the next tutorial probably I'll be covering the package.json file most probably if I don't have any other things in mind and then we'll be looking what we'll be doing so yeah so that's all for this one and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching